I am so excited for season four of World of Dance. It is going to be unlike any other season we've ever had before. We're changing it up and it's gonna be bigger and better than ever. This year on World of Dance, the audition process is going to be stripped back. No bells and whistles, not the main stage. We're gonna be in this, this warehouse where it's just gonna be the dancers, just gonna be the judges, uh, no audience. And it's just gonna be really exposing, I think. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to hide behind. It's just the dancing, it's just the dancers. In previous seasons, we would tell dancers, you know, just to be on this stage is, you know, a huge deal. The fact that they're here, you know, means a lot. Well, this season, we're actually gonna see the point before they make it to the stage. You know, they're gonna have to really earn their way to this arena. Um, this has kind of become sacred ground. You know, this is like the sacred space to where to, where to compete for World of Dance, but this year they have to earn it. Through the, the qualifying rounds, there's callbacks, the duels, they gotta duel it out, and then, and only then, will they make it to the main stage. So the dancers thought that they had one more audition before they made it onto the show, and they thought they were gonna be dancing in front of a bunch of producers. Little did they know that we would be waiting for them in the warehouse, um, and they, we had some really fun reactions, really interesting responses. Walking in, seeing J Lo and myself and Neo. Some played it cool. Some expressed themselves, you know, excited, nervous. Uh, but the whole point of that was that you know we want them to stay ready. We want them to be ready at any given moment, no matter what. So in the qualifying round, there is basically no scoring. You know, it's either a yes or a no, or we actually have callbacks which basically means, you know, we see potential in you. This wasn't your best performance, but we think you can do better. So come back for one last shot before you make it to the next round. Uh, sometimes one of us will see some potential in this group that the others might not see. Um, so it's up to us to sort of, you know, convince the other judges to, to call them back. So this year for the redemption round, we are bringing in Twitch as a guest judge, uh, which is fantastic. I mean, this guy, you know, he, has been on a, a dance competition show before, so he understands what it takes. He knows that process, um, as well as just being an incredible dancer. So uh, it, it's awesome having him. You know, the dancing on World of Dance is, it truly is the best in the world, and that's why we refer to it as the Olympics of dance. You know, dancers from all over the world, different walks of life, different styles. Uh, this is where you're gonna see it. The best of the best, right here. It's always hard to sort of pinpoint exactly what we're looking for. It's a combination of things. And that's the thing, sometimes there's an amazing dancer that just has a bad night, that has the wrong routine, has the wrong song, and it kills me to say no, but unfortunately that's the nature of competition. You have to be on, on the night. You know, that's what it's about. Um, so what we're looking for is the, is the perfect combination of great choreography, you know, just charismatic energy, crowd appeal, technique, um, musicality. I mean, it, it's the perfect sort of formula that creates that World of Dance champion that deserves that $1 million. This season of World of Dance, you're gonna see things you've never seen before. And I don't just mean the dancing, I mean the connection, the interaction between the judges and the dancers. It's very, you know, intimate. We get to see their journeys, we get to see this progress, to see where they begin, you know, where they duel it out, where they battle for it, they make it to the main stage, and just see this amazing journey, um, which we've never seen before on the show. So uh, it's, it's gonna be an exciting season. Working with Jennifer and Neo is just an absolute pleasure. I mean, to share our passions for dance, having a front row seat at the best dancing in the world, you can't go wrong. What I love is I love meeting people who have never watched a dance show in their entire life. And they come up to me, young, old, middle-aged, whatever, it doesn't matter, and they say, I love watching World of Dance. I love it. They are so good. The dancers are extraordinary. The things that they can do with their bodies, their creativity, it's just, even if you're not like familiar with dance, you can't help but just appreciate what you're watching. It's so entertaining. It's so incredible to see human beings just come together and create this like, just this art, you know? It's like watching a beautiful painting unfold before your eyes. Uh, and so even if you're not a dancer, you can still appreciate that.